They said, um, come and speak and say that human evolution is continuing. And I said, but everyone thinks that. And they said, no, we'd find some mug to come and say <laughs> the opposite. Um, and uh, Andrew kindly volunteered to be the mug, but he has broken ranks. Um, I, um, I also think that evolution is continuing, um, I, uh, but uh, I disagree with some of the points that Andrew and Sue have, have, have made. But as I've been um, given the kind of... Um, uh, uh, I've had to speak last. I have my retaliation here. They told me not to do this, so, so naturally, I, oh, Sue told me to do this. But so, if it's bad, I'll feel awful. Well, that's right. So, well, you haven't seen it, have you? Such, such, such faith these people have. Objections have been raised to notes in verse. Dead silence. I'd counter that the form is neat and terse, well suited to a form of argument as practised by our forebears who were bent on laying out such things in fervent hope of changing minds, said Alexander Pope, Know then thyself, presume not God to scan. The proper study of mankind is man. A third misunderstanding one describes in the stasis argument, a guise of evolution concrete as the shade of death, with cowl and scythe whose careful grade winnows out those unfit human lives, evolutions thus personified. Natural selection is no such thing. All one needs in nature is to bring a measure of genetic variation, a peck of environmental vacillation, and mix with superfluity of young. Nearly finished, don't worry. That's it, and yet from such a mixture sprung, the riot is the riot that is life upon our earth. No God, no death. Simplicity is worth a thousand million epicycles. That's why we're celebrating Darwin's careful eye from which it should be clear for all to see that natural selection has no memory, no past to rue, no plan, no mind, no trend, except that those with hindsight seek to bend it to their will and so extrapolate stories of our origins and fate. Such hubris! It is as much as I can seek to organise my diary for next week. And so, were you to ask me of the course of evolution, I'd say, bet upon a horse. <laughs> Magnificent, Henry.